What is poppin' guys? We are back on Pokemon Showdown for a live in the OU tier. If I'm not mistaken, we are on live number 100 right now, which is awesome. And uh, I just wanted to bring something pretty cool for this one. And I have here, uh, I remade Cynthia's team. Uh, if you guys played Diamond Pearl Platinum, you guys know this is the champion squad. Cynthia's squad here. So uh, I got nice Assault Vest Spirit Tomb, which you guys have seen probably in Hita Fajita. It's the one with Icy Wind Rock Tomb, which is pretty nice. Uh, Stealth Rocks uh, lead Garchomp or Mega Chomp here. Which is cool because it actually has a uh, decent special attack which can drop Dracos on stuff like Lando and Rotom Wash and stuff like that. We got here a Lucario, SD Lucario, which um, pretty much is able to beat balance uh, relatively easily. Since SD and it can just kill stuff with Earth um, with our extreme speed, close combat, Iron Tail. Next up we have here is a Togekiss. And thankfully enough, uh, she does have a Defogger on her team. And it is uh, now Fairy type uh, as opposed to Gen 4, of course. So that's pretty cool. So we got Togekiss here. Nice Rocky Helmet Defog Togekiss with um, Nasty Plot. So it's a nice Stall Breaker set. We also have here a Milotic. So she does have a Milotic. And this one is is basically EV'd enough to take uh, hits from Mega Gardevoir. Take special attack hits from Gengar and stuff like that. It, it does have a good defense as well. And it can get boosted by the Marvel scale if I do get status like Para or something. And finally, a Rose Raid here, which I felt would be really nice versus stuff like Azu, Keldeo, etc. And I mean, it, she does have it on her team as well. So the signature set that I use from uh, that one Stunfisk Avalug squad. But that's going to be the team here. Pretty curious to see how Cynthia's team actually works on the ladder, on in the OU ladder. So let's go ahead and find a battle here. And I'll pause to be get one. So I'll be right back, guys. All right, and we got one here versus some standard mons. Uh, I'm thinking I'll just lead off here with the Garchomp. Garchomp is a solid lead. If he does decide to lead off with the um, the low bunny, yep. Leads off with the Landers, which is fine. I mean, I'm guessing this is probably gonna be Scarf because he has a Heatran and a and a Ferrothorn. I'm just gonna set up rocks without Mega. Okay, so he's not Scarf. He just goes right for the Earthquake. That did a lot. <laughs> it actually did a lot. Which leads me to believe he could be banded, maybe? I don't know. That seemed like it did more than... Or maybe he's just regular offensive set or something. Maybe double dance or something like that. I mean, I could just drop a Draco here. As he goes Ferrothorn, which is fine. I mean... I could still click Fire Blast, I'm pretty sure. I'll just go for it again, because uh, why not? No reason to over-predict here. So that's going to be a 2 at KO. We did burn it, which is nice. And um, I'm pretty sure I can actually save Chomp if I want. Or I don't have to really risk uh, going out into it right yet. Let's see what I could do here. I could potentially also go to Lucario. Maybe. Um, I'll just kill it kill with Fire Blast here. Alright, so into Lopen he goes. Which means what I can do is just go into... Well, he has that uh, Scrappy, so I can't go to Spirit Tomb. I could go Lopunny here, potentially. Not Lopunny, what am I saying? I can go Togekiss on this. Or I could just stay in an Earthquake here. Yeah, I'm gonna go Togekiss. As he just returns right off the bat. Um, that's fine. Rocks aren't that bad for me. It's pretty much as bad for me as it is for him, so... Now what I can do is actually go into my... My Lotic here is fine. Hit him up with a Scald. And plus, like, Rotom can't even do anything to me other than Pain Split, so... I'm safe to just go for a Scald here. Any will o -Wisps me, which is good because I can keep my... Uh, I got a nice defense boost with that Marvel scale. So I'm just going to go for the Scald here. I can eat that relatively well. And I'm pretty sure Gengar actually cannot kill me from this range. As you can see right there. Which is nice because I can just recover stall this thing. And I am more Spadef bulky, so yeah, he can't really do anything to me. Goes back into Rotom Wash here, so I'm guessing he'll try to paint split. I want to get a burn on this thing, that'll be really nice. He just goes right for the Volt Switch, which is fine. Into Gengar, so he just sacks that. Into Lopen he goes. Okay, so I do have the defense boost. I mean, he'll probably just fake out here, if anything. So, or maybe he'll high jump kick, I'm not sure. I kind of want to save my Lotic because it actually just ends up winning versus his Heatran. And I mean, I have a burn now, so I mean, I guess he'll just fake out here or something, right? So, I can sack Chomp, maybe? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can sack Chomp here. He just goes right for the high jump kick, which is fine. I can go into my Rose Raid because I can take a hit from this. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if he'll stay in or not. But we'll see what happens. I'm just going to Sludge Bomb here. He goes Heatran. That's perfectly fine. I mean, it's not really a problem. Just Lava Plumes. I'm pretty sure I can click Rock Tomb. I'm not sure what the set this is actually because we know that his Ferrothorn had rocks. But he has leftovers. Okay, so does get the burn on me, unfortunately. Um, 
but I can lower his speed, which is nice. Roars me into this. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I'm gonna go Spirit Tomb here, and I can go Milotic and actually get a recover. Pretty sure. I don't know if he has Taunt or not. All right, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so good. that's actually really good. I can recover here. And uh, just force him to go for the Volt Switch here. And by doing that, I pretty much get off a of Scald now. As he brings in... Okay, he brings in Landris. I could go for the Ice Beam here. And just knock it out once and for all. Very nice. Volt Switch actually kills me from this range, I believe. So... But we got rid of Landris, which is awesome. Because of the fact that Lucario actually puts in a lot of work here. So yeah, he does go into, into Rotom here, which is perfectly fine. I don't need Roserade. I don't think I need it. He just Volt Switches here. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. I'm um, pretty sure he's in range of an E-Speed. Life Orb, Adamant, E-Speed. I'm pretty sure he's in range. Um, I don't know what kind of play was that, but uh, I guess he was expecting the... I don't know what he was expecting. I mean, Return was overall the better play, pretty sure. But yeah, he just forfeits here. So, good game. Let's go ahead and uh, hop onto the next one, and I'll pause so we get one, so we'll be right back. Alright, so we got a game here, and this time we are up against um, some bulky offense, it looks like. Very cool. Garchomp's not a bad lead. The Garchomp is definitely not a bad lead here. As, um... Thank you. And Rose Raid. <laughs> I just lifting my whole team. And Luke. Yep, yeah, we got some unique Pokemon. We do have some unique Pokemon here. Looking forward to this. Have fun. You too, you too. Yeah, definitely, uh, it's, it's just a fun team overall. I mean, live number 100 is supposed to be a fun one. And this team is already proving that it can work. Alright, so Zapdos is going to be the choice of lead here. I'm pretty sure he has HP Ice. Though... Yeah, I don't really know if I want to stay in. Like, he led with it, so he's obviously... Yeah, he obviously has to have HP Ice here. Yeah, there we go. And he's Life Orb too, so that's cool. I'm pretty sure I can go into my... Well, what do I need my Lodic for, actually? It could be useful. My Lodic could be useful. I'm gonna go Roserade here first. As he T-Bolts me. Offensive Zap counters. Yeah, yeah, that's a problem. A little bit of a problem. I'm gonna go Spirit Tomb... I could have gone Spirit Tomb on the HP Ice, actually. But I'm in this way, I'm wearing it down, sort of. Uh, I'm going to Rock Tomb here. Alternatively, I could Icy Wind. Ooh, catch the Garchomp. Nah, I'm going to go for Rock Tomb here. Rock Tomb is pretty nice. Alright, so we went to Clef. That is fine. I can go here into Roserade, potentially. I like that, actually. Because his, his only Pokemon that he has for a Roserade... That can really switch into a sludge bomb is the um the Garchomp because if he brings in Scizor, I'm, I'm faster, so that's always good. Uh he brings in Garchomp here. I'm just gonna go Togekiss. That's a perfectly um perfectly good switch in here. As he gets up rocks. I mean he'll go to Zapdos, which is kind of annoying, but um I guess I'll make a double to Spirit Tomb here. And just pursue trap the Zapdos. Oh, he goes Scizor. Interesting. Interesting play. Um, he's Mega. That's for sure. I mean, I could go to Milotic and try to burn this thing. Or I could go to my Chomp. Let's go to Chomp here. Just U-turns. I mean, I got a little bit of damage there, I guess, which is fine. Zapdos is at 71. It probably won't die from a Draco just yet, I, I think. Let's see. Goes to Zapdos here. I'm just going to Draco here and see what happens. Okay, died. Nice. <laughs> Not even bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, offensive uh, Chomp is pretty cool with Stealth Rocks. Yeah, I like it. I'm pretty sure we can go Roserade here, I, I think. Which is Moonblast, which is fine. Gonna click um, Sludge Bomb here. It should be good. I think. Uh... Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Um, good at HP Fire, expecting the Scizor to come in. Uh, 
Yeah, there we go. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Solid play, for sure. Alright, so it goes back to Chomp here, which is cool. I'm going to actually click um, Togekiss here, I think it's fine. And um, now we can actually click uh, Defog here, I think. Unless I could knock the Scizor out with an Air Slash from this range, which would be cool. But I want to get rid of these rocks. These rocks are annoying. Rocks are annoying. Very annoying. And I mean, if I do uh, if I do Defog here, I'm pretty sure I could live a Bullet Punch from a bulky Scizor. And then uh, knock it out with an Air Slash. Because I do, I do pack the Rocky Helmet, of course. It's okay. He goes into Clef. This almost certainly has T-Wave. I don't want to get parried or anything. So I'm going to go in here into my uh, into my Roserade. Ah, okay. So he, just, he just went for Calm Mind here, which is fine. Because, uh, I mean, I pack Haze on my Milotic. So that's always cool. But he goes Infernape. Okay. Okay. Um, that is fine. I can go Milotic, I'm pretty sure. Close combat will do a ton, though. Could be a pain. But I mean, again, what does he have for Milotic on his team? Well, that. <laughs> um, okay, so he's Life Orb, of course, so Flare Blitz will kill. I don't think I need. Um, let's see. I don't think I need. I kind of need Lucario. Thinking about it. Lucario is useful. Spirit Tomb. Yeah, I need Spirit Tomb to trap Lottie for sure. For sure. Um, okay. Yeah, he was in Blaze range. Yeah, pretty sure he was Blaze, so that knocked me out. Unfortunately, I mean, we were Spideff. I don't know if it was a roll or not, but um, yeah, what we can do now is uh, we can actually just go into Rose right here. Pretty sure. Alternatively, I could go Togekiss and just air slash everything. <laughs> Let's actually do that, yeah. I'm gonna go, uh, yeah. No, he, he's Calm Mind. I don't see T-Wave. So I can Nasty Plot on this, can I? Pretty sure. I'm gonna air slash first, though. Just get damage on that. Now we can trap this with a Spirit Tomb. He'll, uh, 100%. Oh, he switched out, okay. That's cool. I'm pretty sure I can hard switch to Lucario here and Iron Tail this thing and knock it out. So I'm gonna do that. And um, Chomp is at 72 though. That's a little annoying. If I SD up though, I'm pretty much uh, guaranteed to win. I think. Because I'm pretty sure I'm faster than Chomp, right? I'm pretty sure. I don't want to take that risk. I don't want to take that risk. I'm just going to Iron Tail here. Oh, I did a ton. <laughs> I did a ton. He's, he's probably... Um, I only took Rough Skin, so yeah, he's definitely offensive. That's for sure. Definitely offensive. Because I did 70, I did only took uh, light, I only took Life Orb. I didn't take Rocky Helmet. Uh, I took Rough Skin as well, but... Yeah, that's a good. It's a good thing I didn't SD there. I'm pretty sure. Sets up rocks here. I'm just gonna go ahead and defog these away. Nothing he can really do to me unless he's got like fire blast, crits, and burns or something. So, yeah, I think we're in a good position right now. Goes here in a clef. This is fine. I'm pretty sure I can actually nasty plot here. Maybe if I want, I'm gonna air slash first. Actually, I'm gonna air slash first. I haven't seen what his healing move is. If it's um, if it's moonlight, I know he's unaware. Unaware ability. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, that's tough. Well, I have to make sure he doesn't set up an SD. <laughs> that's what I gotta do. Oh, he crit me, okay. Well, I can go to this thing now and I can click, um. I could make the play and uh, click Draco if I want. 
but then he's set up with this. Um, this is tricky. This is tricky for sure. Yeah, got him. Nice, nice, nice. So uh, yeah, we can't. I don't think we can lose this game now. I think we are in a very good position. Goes into Chomp. Um, he is faster, of course. So I mean, I can't really beat Lottie with this thing either. I'm just gonna quake here. Sucker, cause GG. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And um. Yeah. Why don't? Yeah. Let's let's finish this off with Spirit Tomb here. Let's uh, finish it off with some class. Yeah. GG, bro. That was a solid game, definitely, for sure. So, um, Cynthia's team, like we saw again, once once again, putting in that work. Alright, let's go ahead and, and grab another battle here, and I'll pause so we get one, so be right back. Alright, we got one, we got one. Um, pretty sure we faced this guy <laughs> in the first game. Alright, so, it looks like the same team, doesn't it? Looks like the same team. Alright, anyways. So... I think leading off with Chomp here is fine. He led off with the Lopunny this time, so I'm going to go right into the Togekiss here. As he's probably going to fake out me, I think. Yep, there we go. I'm going to click uh, Roost here, get back to full health so I don't get 2 KO by the return. Or the frustration. And now we can go into our Garchomp here. As we go into Garchomp, now we can fire off a Fire Blast, I think. Or I could drop a Draco predicting... Uh... Now I'm a Fire Blast here. Let's go ahead and Oko that Ferrothorn. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Alright, so in comes the Gengar. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can drop a Draco on this and I missed. Oh, nice. Nice. So the hacks actually helps me. There, not bad. I can just uh, recover on this Gengar here. Alright, so he goes into the Rotom. He's going to Volt Switch 100%, so I'm going to click Scald because his switch is, is, is a Gengar. Or a Landris. Okay. Did we burn it? No, we don't. So I'm gonna go Togekiss. Oh, he just left. Alright, well, forget that battle. Uh, we beat him again. On to the next one. On to the next one. Alright, so Shedinja, Sableye, Stall, Talonflame. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Cynthia team, let's go. Gotta show them why we're the champion. Alright, so we're gonna lead off here with our Garchomp as he leads up with the Sableye. I'm gonna go Milotic because I can get the Marvel scale from this thing. Even though it probably doesn't matter. I'm gonna go Rose right here. I mean, the Wisp missed, which kind of sucks, but yeah, I can ca I catch this uh, Seismitoad here. And now I can fire off a Sludge Bomb, I'm pretty sure, or an HP Fire, expecting the um, Shedinja. I'm gonna fire off a Sludge Bomb here. Yeah, I catch the Poison. Nice, 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 nice. Awesome. And um, let me just make sure this other battle's done. It is. Is it done? Is it done? Be done. 10 seconds. Yeah, done. Nice. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so Sableye is poisoned. That's nice. Go right into Milotic here. As he goes into Shedinja. Ooh. So, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do here? Hit me, attack me, do something. Nope. Sableye. Alright, well, we can just stay in here on this. I think Togekiss actually just beats his entire team, doesn't it? Um, if I can flinch this thing down all the way, I'm gonna do it. You already know I'm about to do it. Nice, here we go. If he's got like rest or something, I can nasty plot on that. I uh, got up rocks. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Goes in a Togekiss here. Wonder what his own Togekiss set is. It looks fast. It looks offensive. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Alright, so my flying resist does not exist. So I'm pretty sure he's Scarf as well. I need my Togekiss. 100%. So we're going to go into my Lotic here. Take that pretty well. And um, just recover up. I think it's fine. There we go. And I'm going to Ice Beam. I'm going to fire off some Ice Beams here to weaken this thing. Put it in range of an E speed, I think is fine. Uh, he goes into Seismitoad. That's okay. I can go to Roserade here. He can't really do much to me then. Can't do much. Um, 
close to the knockoff here, which is perfectly fine. I can just click, uh, let's see what the Sable is at, 57. Pretty sure I can click uh, Sludge Bomb here without having to worry about anything. Okay, yeah, so Talonflame comes out. I can go into my Milotic here. Milotic is a great answer to this, I think. He goes with Taunt. That's okay, that's okay. Um, I'm gonna Ice Beam here. Then click Scald. As he bulks up. Ooh, ooh. Alright. I got I got Haze on this. <laughs> See what he does here. Just roosts. Watch, catch his Haze. He's gonna bulk up again, watch. Or acro acrobatics, okay. You can just Haze him there. And um, the Skull once again I think is fine. Seismitoad, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Um, I mean, he has knockoff. I mean, I'm just gonna go Togekiss and Roost anyways. It's fine. I don't mind. Oh, welcome back. <sighs> Alright. I need my rocks up. I need these rocks up somehow. No way he's gonna flinch me here. Okay, no way you're gonna flinch me again. Come on, man. Come on, man. Alright, so how do we beat this thing? We gotta go into Lucario, I think. Actually, Lucario just wins, but no, he has a Sash thing. Oh, yeah. I need to get my rocks. I need to get my rocks up. I need to get these rocks up. He's gonna be scared of this thing, that's for sure. Yeah, I got him up. I got him up. Got him up. Let's go. Alright, so... Now I just go to Spirit Tomb here. And, um... Sucker Punch this thing a few times. I did 21, that's awesome. Put him in range. Very nice, very nice. Gonna click, uh, Pursuit. Not bad, not bad. Now I click uh, Rock Tomb on this. Ooh, got him. Got him good. That's a well played Spirit Tomb right there. How did I do it? <laughs> How did I do it? Alright, back to Talonflame here. He's gonna just click Acro, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, all that stuff. Now, what do I have to do here? I don't know if E-Speed kills um, from this range. It might, it might. I kind of need it to win though, this is annoying. I could go Garchomp here. And just... Quake. Got rid of that, very good, very good. In the Sableye, he goes, Draco should kill this thing, I think, but then I don't want him to set up with the Talon. So we're going to go back to Togekiss here. And then, um, Roost up. Should be fine. As he burns me, and, um, pretty sure I can Air Slash here. I think. I don't want him to recover, so this is a good play, I think. Goes to Talonflame. Um... I can nasty plot here. And then just fire off an air slash. I think it's fine. And I'm gonna roost here. It oh, just acros? Okay. Well it puts him in E speed range, so that's good. Oh, I don't wanna get trapped by the um the Doug Trio. I don't think does it matter too much? I don't think it does. I don't think it does. Um, it's a little bit annoying. Just a little bit annoying. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, he's out of sash.
Hmm. I think we can still win this, actually. I'm pretty sure we can. Pretty sure we can win this. Kill the Sableye. We get up rocks. And then we win, right? Yeah, I think we win this. I think we I'm pretty sure we win this now. Definitely. Um I mean Acro kills us, but then Shadinja dies. I'm pretty sure Dugtrio dies to an E-speed. A life orb one. We're gonna see right now. Um Ah, uh, okay, okay. This is this is tricky. I have to, I'm just gonna keep clicking Earthquake here. There's no reason not to. No reason not to. Yeah, let me just get rid of it there. Excellent. Ductrio coming in. And we have no choice but to E speed here, pretty sure. Yeah, and we win the game. Not even bad. Ah, that's what I like to see. Beating the Shedinja stall. GG. All right, so that's gonna be a good game there. Not bad. Uh, what are we at right now? Let's uh, let's grab another one. Let's, let's grab another one for sure. I'll possibly get one. So I'll be right back, guys. All right, and we got one here up against uh, this uh, pretty interesting Clef, Clef, Jirachi, Mew. Um, let's see it up with the Chomp. And let's uh, let's get these rocks up. I think is fine. Let's do that. I mean, I am special chomps. So I don't mind getting ooh, ooh Ice Beam Mew. I like it. Time to pursue trap this. I actually needed that chomp pretty badly. All right, now I can go into um, Roserade here. Should be fine. As he moon blasts, I'm gonna make a double here in a Lucario. Actually, I can make a double back to Spirit Tomb if I want. No, Lucario is fine. Lucario is fine. If he Stealth Rocks me, I can now click SD. And kill Skarmory with a close combat. Knock it out. So these rocks are there to stay. That is great. Into Jirachi he goes. So what does he have on this? I don't know. Um, I'm going to close combat here. I see U turns. All right, so something else is gonna die. Excellent. So that's gonna be Clef, and I can just close combat this again. Actually, I can. I'll just E speed here. I'll just E speed. No reason to take another uh, defense drop. Knock it out. Save the Lucario for some dominance here into my uh, Spear Tomb. I go pursue this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so he goes Heracross here. I'm just going to um, stay in. I don't want him to sub or anything. Actually, I don't even know if my Rock Tomb's going to break. <laughs> yeah, he's sub. Oh, it, it just went right through. Yeah, I can lower the speed. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Sucker Punch this. Goes through. Nice. Alright, so I got to break the sub for this thing. I kind of don't want to lose to Raikou though, um, which could be CM, maybe. All right, so I mean this thing's speed is lowered. I gotta be, I gotta be faster than it was something. I guess I kind of gotta go to Rosary. No, I need Rosary. I need it. I need it. But then again, I need Lucario as well. Nah, I don't really need it. It's fine. Let's uh, let's just close combat here and break the sub. And then we go into uh, Roserade here. Hit him with the HP fire. Nice, nice, nice. Knocking out the Heracross. That's what I like to see. Into Mew he goes, so he's obviously faster. We're going to go Milotic here. Milotic can definitely take this on. Very good. Gonna click Scald here. I mean, T-Bolt's not gonna do much to us anyways. I mean, he has a Raikou though. I assume again, okay. Not doing much at all. Let's 
interact we go here okay so as long as we get a burn we can just haze this thing pretty sure we can haze oh he's sub Ooh, sub cm sub cm confirmed get a burn no burn no burn we, we crit him though we crit him which is nice which is very nice i kind of want to haze here kind of I got, I got us. Yeah. That did, that did way too much. That did way too much. Um. So we go Rose Raid. We live the HP ice somehow, and we kill this thing with a sludge bomb. And we killed it. Nice. And that's going to be a good game. Uh, we won this game for sure. 100%. Because, um. He dies to the Rocky Helmet here, so that's good. So we just go Togekiss, and we just kill it with the Rocky Helmet and win this game. So that's going to be GG. Ah, that's what I like to see. Cynthia team putting in the work. So I think that's going to be this live. Hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely had a lot of fun um, with the Cynthia squad here, and it put in a lot of work, as you can see. We beat Shedinja Stall. That's, that's awesome. Definitely awesome. And um, yeah, it's, it was a fun live for sure. And uh, So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Looking forward to hearing from you all, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace, guys.